Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and just in time for Global Game Jam, Unity Technologies have just released Unity Playground. What exactly is Unity Playground? Well, it is a bunch of games all in a single project file that are built around a common set of components. So you don't actually have to code anything to make things work. You just have to build your scenes in such a way to use these reusable components to make more complicated games. So that's exactly what we are going to look at today. I call it Unity Easy Mode. It does make Unity easier to use if you're not experienced using it, or or have not got programming experience. It's also a project up on GitHub that you can contribute to if you are a more experienced programmer and want to make it easier for other people to get started with Unity. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at the Unity blog. Of course, I will link this like I always do. But what we see here is we are super excited to announce the official launch of Unity Playground, the first official project dedicated entirely to our younger users, educator, and anyone looking for an introduction to game development in a simplified form. Aptly titled Unity Playground is all about the joy of of making and playing games. Basically, it removes the need for code by uh, providing an array of one task components that are easy to use and mix. So basically, you got little like one shot, almost like Lego blocks of logic that you can attach as components. And there are a bunch of games built in here. Um, we'll, we'll go in and take a look at a second, but you see here various different components that you add to your guy. Uh, they built, uh, I think it was six different games in here, a defender style game, football, maze, lunar lander, an adventure game, uh, and a roguelike. They're all very, very, very simple, but they do illustrate how you can use these components. And then the idea is you can mix in these components to make your own games without, again, having to code this logic. As I mentioned earlier on, the code is up on GitHub. Strangely enough, the code seems to be a month old in general. Uh, so I, I don't know um, what's new about this uh, or if it has actually been around for a month, but it was just officially announced. It's just made available on the App Store. So now what we're gonna do is take a look at how to install this guy and what is included in it. So obviously what you need to do now is fire up your own copy of Unity. Once you are there, go ahead, open up a window and go to general and pick, uh, where did it, where the hell is my store? Oh, Asset Store. Sorry, it moves from version to version. So pick up Asset Store. Let this connect for a second. Dun, da, da, da. Come on up here and type Playground. Amazingly enough, there is a lot of stuff called Playground, but what you want is the official Unity one right here. Just grab that guy. Um, I have already installed it or purchased it. It's free, uh, but your user interface might look slightly different because I've already gone ahead and purchased this myself. So once you've got it downloaded, go ahead and import it. Now keep in mind, this is going to overwrite your existing project. So when you first start up Unity, make a new project, say call it Playground or whatever. Just assume that the project that you are making is temporarily and going to be overwritten. And then go ahead and do an import. Now the downside is once this finishes importing, you're going to grab all the files you want and say, yep, go ahead and import it. And they're gonna probably get a script runtime version. Yeah, so it's gonna say, do you wanna go ahead and restart? Now, oddly enough, the first time I did this, it actually, um, so it's gonna run through, import all of the assets, and then it's gonna prompt me to restart again. So I, I'm not 100% certain why that is, but we'll let it import all the assets. We'll do the restart, and I will do that off camera because there's no sense watching all that. So there it is, second time. So we'll do the restart. Okay, and we are back, we are reloaded, and here we are in Unity. Now, when you've actually got this guy finished and downloaded, you're gonna find, here, let me just expand this out so you can see everything. What you're gonna wanna go is into the examples. And then, as they mentioned, there are six different projects in here. So the first one is a simple adventure type title. We'll go ahead and load that up. Uh, why are you not in the 2D view? Okay, so here it is. These are all 2D games, so make sure that you're in 2D view. And let's take a quick preview of what this guy looks like. I believe it's WAS key controls. And you just kind of run around and try not to get hit. So this is the first example. Now, escape out of that guy. We'll load up the next one. So we've got Defender. We'll load that scene up. And you'll see this is a simple Defender type game where you've got a cannon at the bottom and you're shooting meteors coming in. The, the controls have been just really twitchy. So I have a lot of trouble actually playing the game. But here's the second example on the list. And we'll exit out, head on over to the next version. This is football. This is two-player football. Exactly what you think. So, here we go. Player in the scene, and boo, and I missed. So, oh, self-goal. Ah, I suck. All right, so there is football. We've got a Lunar Lander clone. Come on in here. You see, it. we'll run that guy. And space bar to fly. And then try not to crash. So that's your Lunar Lander. There is a maze game in here. Two levels attached to it. 
like so. I won't bother loading it. And then finally, we have uh, the roguelike. And this is the one that actually has an inventory system. And you're navigating around the world, talking to people, opening doors, and so on and so forth. So we get our coins. All very, very simple games, like so. And we got our key. We open the door. And on and on. So that is the, the scope of the games we're talking about here. Nothing huge, nothing outrageously large. So now let's take a look at how these are actually put together. So you see we've got just rooms, players, adventures. So here's the merchant in the scene. And you're going to see with it selected, uh, there's no component on him. Okay, we'll go to, do I have to expand it? No. Adventurer. All right, so here you see we've got uh, pre-built components on it, such as the move script. Coin resource, uh, user interface. It has all these various different dialogue system script attached as well. So these are all the pieces that you use to rebuild your game. I'm gonna go back to Lunar Lander. It's more straightforward. So we go here, here's your user interface. So there's the UI script that's attached and the instructions. So you've got number of players, game type. Uh, we've got here the spaceship. The spaceship has scripts attached to it and so on. So those components are what make the playground really work. So we come down here to add a component to this guy. And you'll see there is a new category here called Playground. And here are the various different components that make up and that you would script your logic in by attaching these one-shot components to your object. So we've got under Action, Consume Resource, Create Object, Destroy Action, uh, Dialog Balloon, Load Level, On, Off, and Teleport. Attributes, we've got Bullet Collectible, Destroy for Points, Health System, Modify Health, Resources. Conditions, we've got Condition Area, Condition Collision, Condition Key Press, Condition Repeat. Gameplay, we've got object creator area, object shooter, pick up and hold, um, time self-destruct, and then finally we have movement control, so auto-remove, auto-rotate, camera follow, follow target, jump, move with arrows, patrol, push, rotate, and wander. So in a lot of ways, what they're doing here is actually building uh, stencil construct or G-developed style brick coding in here. Just instead of bricks, they're components that you attach to game objects. Um, this will definitely make making basic 2D games in Unity quite a bit easier for, for beginners. I do understand the value here. And it'll be interesting to see how many people actually take to this project and start contributing new pieces to um, the component, the, to the actual source code itself. So if the community gets behind this and keeps adding more and more of these playground components, it will make more and more functionality that much easier to add for people. And this kind of stuff is really handy for um, game jam type stuff. Now at the end of the day though, myself personally, I don't know why I wouldn't just use gdevelop or construct or stencil or one of those packages for game jamming. Uh, but if you're ultimately looking to learn um, Unity as your end game, this as a transitional step, this as your beginner or entrance level um, layer, is, is there's definitely some value there. And this was kind of aimed more at educators, kids, or game jam type people. So this is not meant for diehard uni developers in any way, although I imagine you can look at any one of these particular scripts, if you so wish, and learn from them. So there is a learning exercise here, or you can just look at this as, you know, there is building box code that you can then adapt for whatever type means you've got. Now, curious, what is the license this is under? This is available under the MIT license. So yeah, you can pretty much do whatever the heck you want. All right, so that's it. That is Unity Playground, or as I like to call it, Unity Easy Mode. I let me know what you think of it. Does it make Unity look more interesting to you as a beginner? Do you have? Are you already a Unity user, and this like has any use to you whatsoever, or no interest at all? Also, are you going to be participating in the Global Game Jam? You know, in the era, I really wish that um, game jams came before kids did, because they're not really that compatible from my end. So I almost never get to do any game jam, so I won't be. But let me know if you are, what you're planning to do and what uh, what tool you're going to use. Uh, let me know all those things. Comments down below. All right. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.